We're supposed to be getting fiber optic to the house today, and uh, I'm not sure how we're going to run it. The technician's supposed to come out and talk to us a little bit because we're not sure how we're going to run it into the house. These are some fiber optics out of the main trunk. You can tell they're very tiny compared to uh, my fingers, and they carry a lot of data. The, the color you're seeing is actually the plastic protection on the outside. The inside is much, much tinier. Um, so we shall see how this goes, make a video of it, and uh, hopefully I'll learn something and pass it along. So here's the uh, roll of fiber optic. And I don't know if you can see, but it's actually got three strands to it. Uh, yeah, you can see that. One, two, three strands. One of them is the uh, support, the mechanical support, and the other two are fibers. There's a main fiber and a backup fiber. Now, let me show you where we got to run this. One of the tricks to fiber is that the phone company, at least our phone company, wants to install it in one piece from here at the router all the way out to the street. I'll show you where that is. It's 65 meters away. Uh, it's got to be all one piece, no connections, no breaks. So what I'm thinking about doing is starting here at the router. I'm going to go into the wall somewhere. I'm not sure where. Go up here. I've already got an access panel cut. Go along here to that wall out the wall, outside there, I'm going to go above the uh, sheetrock, the gypsum up there, and go out, and let's see, uh, let's go follow it from there. So it's going to come from within, inside there, above the sheetrock, come out here, and I'd like to make it come out underneath this balcony so it protects it from rain, but if not, it'll come out where that, you can see the two joint lines in the concrete. Run it down here along the air conditioner duct, drill a hole over here, drill a hole down here, go outside and attach to the pole. And you can see that one wire has a red stripe maybe. So I've got to follow, or they will follow, one of these two phone line connections comes along here, you can see that one right there that I'm touching in the video, and goes all the way out there, and you see that building right there, that white building with the roof and the green awning. Somewhere out there, I think it's that telephone pole right there, where I need to connect to, which is 65 meters away, and there can't be any junction boxes or cuts or anything in the line. So, uh, yeah, one solid piece from router to out there. It's going to be a challenge, but, uh, well, we'll see. So here's where we are right now. Got this piece of pipe that goes into the house, and it runs above the uh, sheetrock that gypsum in the house to, uh, to where it needs to go. And I'll show you that in a second. Then we're going to run down here. Uh, we'll be using sweeps because you don't want 90 degree turns of the fiber. Run along the air conditioner pipe and over to that hole. And from there, we'll go out to the telephone pole. Here we are up above the sheet rocks, the gypsum. You can see way down there at the tip of my finger, that's where it comes into the house. And obviously need to seal that up. And the pipe comes in this way. And here it is. Now you may ask why I'm using water pipe, because it's kind of an electrical job, right? But in fact, fiber has nothing to do with electricity. It's optical, it's glass. So well, instead of uh, protection against fire, what I need is just protection against any mechanical damage to the fiber. So I'm using a thin-walled water pipe because I want the maximum internal opening because you got to pull it with the plugs and everything attached. And you don't want any friction or as much. You want to eliminate as much friction as possible. So here's the pipe. Put a string in it to make pulling it through easier because when the local phone guy shows up, he's going to do that job himself. Over here is where it's going to go into the wall. And then it'll go down the wall and come out down there. I've already got some plugs over there for internet. You can see them at the end of my finger. Not sure if I'm going to come out there and make a new box, but anyway. Uh, I'm going to go down between these two brick walls 
and pop out there. So the uh, pipe will come here. I'm going to put some flex on it just so that it doesn't take any sharp turns as it goes through here. Of course I'll cement this up for protection against rats or bugs or whatever. But uh, that'll be it. This is a sweep. It uh, turns 90 degrees but it doesn't turn very sharply. Fiber prefers, I think it's a 4 inch radius and that's about what this is so it won't uh, put a lot of undue stress on the uh, on the fiber. So here's where I am. Going to replace the router with the optical router, and really there's not much difference other than there's an optical plug underneath. The wire will go back here. You can see this, uh, whatever you call it, a wire channel stuck on the wall, and I've cut it so that it goes around in a nice arc, so that the uh, fiber cable is not pinched and it goes underneath here it's the top channel comes along here it will come out here go through that hole you can see the red string you're going to see a lot of red strings this is to allow us to pull the fiber through the wall easily we'll go up here into there let me go up here and I'll show you I'm tapping it there. So, we start down there at that box at the end of my finger. Goes up the wall. That's this red string right here. And I got it tied off on the pipe so it doesn't fall back in the wall. Then what's going to happen is, from there, it'll go through this piece of flex. And the flex will go down inside the wall. And the flex is to keep the, the uh, fiber from coming in contact with a rusty man or any sharp edges. And then I'm going to cement this back up. Then, there's another red string. Red string will be used to pull the fiber that way, down the wall. Uh, it'll go that way and out the hole we saw earlier. And then we'll go look at that where that comes out. So that pipe runs along here, along there, and out above the uh, sheetrock gypsum right about there. That's where it comes to the side of the house. It's been cemented in. The sweep is in there. Uh, this pipe, I haven't put them together. When I put them together, I'm not going to cement them. I'm just going to clamp them. I've got stainless steel clamps. Clamp it to the wall. I'm not trying to make it airtight or anything. I just want it a little bit waterproof mostly. I'm protecting the fiber from the sun. Runs down here past the ladder. I'll remove the ladder later. Uh, that piece is cemented on there. So it'll do this sweep thing. Goes along there. Kind of bright out today. Out to here. Passes out here. Got another red string that goes all the way back in. Comes over here. This part goes through the on the balcony down to here this is where the hook to attach to the house fiber comes out through the balcony wall out over that way the telephone pole and that's where the uh, that's where the uh, fiber is from the phone company and it goes out all the way out there where it has to connect and again, all in one piece, no junction. So now we wait for the uh, telephone guy to come out and do the install. So this is our new uh, router, with the optical interface. The uh, wire's back in here. Runs along there. You can still see the red wire, the red string we use to pull it. Goes through there, goes into the wall here. comes out of the wall through this flex tubing and here's the extra. I told them we needed about 100 meters and so of course they insisted on 125 made the whole job a lot harder. Uh, there's where it goes into the pipe and as you saw before the pipe goes back that way towards the outside of the house. Pipe goes up through the roof as before.
Now you can see it's completed here. Comes down here. Need to uh, clean it up down here. It should be back against the wall. Goes out that way. Along here, through there. Has the uh, strain relief here. And the uh, loop that I put in goes out there. And then all the way back out to the connection point as one solid piece. So that's it. That's the job. Uh, was uh, was a lot harder because of all the extra fiber, but uh, well, it does work. So anyway, we finally got uh, the internet we've been paying for and never had. Okay, well again, that's it. Uh, hope you found it interesting and perhaps useful.